everybody, Home Slice Henry here, and welcome to the Go Battle League Adventures Abound season update. And oh my goodness, this is an absolutely insane update that we're going to be taking a look at today. It literally just dropped. I woke up and they show cups and everything, but that's not what I'm here for. I'm here for the attack changes. Let's take a look at this. I'm going to scroll all the way through. First off, we have three new attacks. We have Trailblaze, which is 65 power and 50 damage and buffs your attack. So that's a grass type flame charge. We have Scorching Sands, which is 80 power and 50 energy. That is going to be a ground type Scald clone. And Triple Axel, which is an ice move. It's a clone of Icy Wind, but instead of debuffing your opponent's attack, it buffs your own attack. And then... Oh boy, chat. We've got the attack changes. First off, Lantern is getting a nerf. Spark is now doing more damage, but it's decreasing energy generation. So this is clearly Niantic's attempt to say Lantern was a lot last season. Definitely too powerful. So they're nerfing it. They're dramatically reworking how Spark works. Similar to how when they nerfed Trevenant, they massively reworked Seed Bomb by making it more expensive, but do more damage. Next up, the long-awaited Astonish buff is here. There's so many Pokemon that are stuck with Astonish, and it's absolutely terrible. The energy generation of Astonish is getting buffed, which is absolutely amazing. Next up, we have a Medicham nerf, nerfing Psychic. Instead of doing 90 damage, it's now going to do 85. And we have X-Scissor getting a big buff here from 45 power to 65 power. X Scissor might finally beat the bad allegations, but that does come with a cost. Energy cost will be increased. And then we have an Aerial Ace buff as well. Aerial Ace, long, I would say, considered to be one of the worst flying type charge moves. Aerial Ace is now going to be cheaper, which as someone in my chat posts, which I'm actually doing this live for, channel for Ultra League channel members right now. Galissapod is going to be cooking with Aerial Ace costing less. Sky Attack, this is one that I wanted, and it's happening. Sky Attack is now going to cost more. So, we're seeing a lot of the common meta Pokemon from last season. Lantern getting a nerf. Metacham getting a nerf. And now, we see Noctowl getting a nerf. We see Dig is now going to actually have less power, so it's going to be doing 20% less damage. But the energy cost is decreased, which is really nice. Earthquake. They nerfed Galarian Stunfisk, chat. They nerfed Galarian Stunfisk. Wow. I'm happy. What a good day. What a good day. So much of the meta that we have come to expect from these previous seasons, it's being nerfed. And now we see a buff. Holdergeist is getting a buff. It's going to be doing 10 extra damage. And Boom Burst getting an energy cost decrease. Boom Burst was definitely the... Um, <laughs> Boom Burst was definitely an update that a lot of us are very frustrated by. Niantic trying to make that move better. Now attack availability updates. What we've been waiting for here. Oh my goodness. Look at these updates. First off, we have... So, if you remember, Spark was heavily nerfed, which is a problem for something like Magnezone. But Magnezone now gets Volt Switch. This is a terrific update. And let's take a look here. I actually have a local copy of PV Poke. So, we can take a look at some of these changes in real time. So, let's go to Battle here. Let's go to the Master League. And let's take a look at Magnezone. Magnezone... And let's go to Volt Switch. And let's take a look at the Master Premier meta here. Oh, that's the Mega. No, we want this one. And let's take a look at this difference here. First off, we see immediate positive results for Magnezone here. Magnezone was the Pokemon that I hit Legend with last season in the Master Premier Cup. And it looks like it's getting even better, which is terrific. Volt Switch just gets very consistent energy generation and damage, which is very, very nice. So it looks like for that, 
a solid buff for Magnezone, as you see here. Being able to consistently beat Dragonite now is very, very nice. All right. We have Reggie Eliki, which previously was just with Lock On, now getting Volt Switch. You're probably going to be sticking with Volt Switch there. And then we have. Oh, Swalot gets a massive upgrade here. Swalot was always a very interesting Pokemon in limited metas, but its biggest issue was its fast move. It was stuck with Infestation. As you can see, Infestation is just not what you're hoping to see. But Swalot getting Mudshot, this should be a massive upgrade. As Mudshot is a terrific move. Let's take a peek here. Oh my goodness, look at the difference. Swalot, I mean, it's still below 50% win rate, but that could turn it into an extremely viable... That could turn it into an extremely viable, like, Spice Pick or a limited meta Pokemon. Take a look in the twos, not changing a lot, but we had big updates in the zeros and an update in the ones. Up, we have Greedent learning Mudshot, which is very interesting. So Greedent, more of an Ultra League mod. Let's take a look here at what it can do. Greedent going from Bullet Seed to Mudshot. The moves, honestly, don't, like, they're both very much fast moves centered around energy generation. So we see in the zeros here... Greedon looks like tends to prefer Bullet Seed. Let's take a look at the ones. About even across the board. Let's take a look at the twos. The twos is a drastic improvement for Greedon here. Look at that. Greedon now doing significantly better in the twos. Thanks to Mudshot. So a very interesting side grade. All right, let's take a look next. We have Toxicroak getting Mudshot. That is extremely unexpected. I'll be honest, Counter is so good, it'll be difficult for Counter to... Honestly, I can't imagine it'll do better than Counter just because of how good Counter is. Yeah. But let's take a look. Let's take a look. Zeros, counter, definitely preferred. Let's take a look at the ones. Counter, definitely preferred. Let's take a look at the twos here. Okay, so for Toxicroak, at least in the Ultra League, definitely going to be counter preferred. Steelix gets Breaking Swipe. That is an insane update. Steelix was already absolutely terrific in Ultra. And now, with Breaking Swipe, oh my goodness. I imagine you're just going to get rid of this for Breaking Swipe. And we'll just see what it can do now. Already, an upgrade in the Zero Shield. Let's take a look at the One Shield. The One Shield is about even. Now let's take a look at the two shield and improvement here. Steelix, my goodness, do you see that? That is water types that Steelix is defeating now. It's beating Greninja, Shadow Swampert, and Walrein in the two shield. That's absolutely crazy. And since it is running crunch, it does beat Jellicent in the twos. So that's a very nice update for Steelix. Rhyperior gets Breaking Swipe. Let's take a look at this in the Master League here. Rhyperior, of course, has two very viable fast moves. Take a look. I guess we get rid of Surf for Breaking Swipe. Okay. Let's switch to the Master Premier meta. Okay. In the zeros, looks like there are some things that get dropped by not having Surf. In the ones, look at the upgrade there. As a Mudslap user, you are now picking up 
Hydreigon, Metagross, Ursaluna, Gyarados, and Shadow Garchomp. And then look at the twos. Rhyperior goes from useless in the twos to now very viable in Master Premier. This is a terrific update for Rhyperior. Oh my goodness. So I actually believe that it had a spotlight hour recently. So for those who play the spotlight hour, those XL candies are going to come in handy here. Septile now gets breaking swipe and Heliolisk now gets breaking swipe. Septile is very, very glassy. Reggie Drago gets Breaking Swipe, which is nice because although Reggie Drago will still realistically probably need a better fast move. But let's take a look at Heliolisk. Heliolisk is one of my favorite, like, what if Pokemon. It has an amazing typing. But let's take a look here. What is Heliolisk looking like now that it gets Breaking Swipe? Okay. Still not great, but a slight improvement in the zeros, in the ones. Oh my. Look at that upgrade. From 13 and 30 to 25 and 18. My dreams might finally be coming true of a viable Heliolisk. Oh my goodness. That is amazing. Let's look at the two shield. Wow. Heliolisk looks like it's actually going to be meta. That's amazing. This is a Pokemon that I've long wanted to be good. And it looks like it's, look at that. It picks up so many new wins. Heliolisk meta. This is amazing. <laughs> Oh, wow. 29 and 14 versus the Great League meta is absolutely absurd. A Selgrid now learns Water Shuriken. That's not going to help it a ton. Menchow gets Blaze Kick. Incineroar gets Blaze Kick. Lucario gets Blaze Kick. We have a bunch of Pokemon getting Razor Shell, which is fun. We have a massive rollout to Magical Leaf here. So much stuff is getting access to Magical Leaf. Decidueye already learned Magical Leaf, I'm pretty sure. Oh, wait, no, it didn't. Decidueye learned the other grass move. So they're rolling out Magical Leaf to a ton of mons here. Meganium, and you can see it just as I scroll. Everything. Gardevoir gets it. Lilligant gets Magical Leaf. Meowstic. Toro, and, and now we see the Trailblaze rollout being given to Tauros, Pseudo, Ampharos could now be an even more interesting save switch. Scyther gets Trailblaze, Scizor gets it, Cleaver, Ursaluna. This is one we've got to check out, chat. Ursaluna with Trailblaze. This thing has gotten so many moves. Ursaluna. What are we looking at here? with trailblaze grass i don't feel is the greatest offensive typing in the master league even in the premier meta let's take a look it looks like it's about even in the zeros in the ones looks like high horsepower typically preferred and i imagine that's gonna be the same in the twos the twos are about even it looks like a, a more of a side grade for Ursaluna there. Lycanroc gets it. Lorantis gets it. A lot of stuff is getting access to it. Skuntank gets Trailblaze now. Berserker gets it. Giraffe. This update is massive. Dawnfen gets it. And now Triple Axel, which is like Icy Wind, but it boosts your attack. Galar Mr. Mime. Weevil. Hitmontop finally gets a bait move. Gardevoir gets a move that buffs its attack. Oh my goodness. Lopunny gets it. Mr. Rhyme. Zarina gets it. And now we have Kanto Sandslash getting Scorching Sands. Scorching Sands is the ground type Scald, if I'm not mistaken. Kanto Ninetales gets it. Arcanine gets it. Kento Rapidash 
Entei gets Scorching Sands. Entei might actually see some use. Flygon gets it. Playdol gets another move. Hippowdon gets that, but really what it probably wants more than anything is just a better fast move. Magmortar. Diggersby gets, and, and this is nice because Earthquake got nerfed. So Diggersby gets another ground type charge move considering Earthquake just got a nerf. Exca gets it and Palisand gets it. Genuinely a massive update. Let me know in the comments what are you most excited for and don't forget we are going to be showcasing as many of these changes as we can in the new season. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're enjoying the content, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And a special thank you as always to our channel members. The support you guys provide is sincerely appreciated. So thank you guys and I'll see you in the next one.